Hello, it's me, Cam's man, and I'm here with Jack Brooks again from Bam Nuttall, and he's kindly offered to give us a tour around the seawall works and show us what they've been up to for the past month or so since our last video. Right then, Jack, so it's been, I think, about five weeks since we were last here on site, and visually, uh, it looks like you've been very, very busy indeed. So, um, where are we at? So, yeah, um, we've got 136 out of 143 of the facing panels in. Um, yeah. And our main focus really over the last month and a half has been progressing with the backfill concrete to the rear of the facing panels to allow us to start the installation of the recurve units and the promenade units. Um, so we started the installation of the recurve units on Monday. Um, we're roughly around about 80-85% complete with the backfill concrete um, up to uh, the top of the facing panels. Um, and there's quite a bit of prep work that needs to be done prior to us installing the recurve units, getting ready to land them in position, etc. Right, okay. Um, so as you can see, the crane is set up on the beach at the moment, um, and the 70 tonnes taken the last recurve unit over for the installation of, um, well, the, this shift's installation today. Um, we're roughly averaging somewhere between six and eight units on each shift. Um, so we're, I think in total, so far we've got 30 units in. Um, there is some gaps in the recurves which you can see up there. Yeah. Um, the reason why there's a gap left is because that's a special unit. Um, basically we have viewing platforms as we walk through the length of the job. Okay. Um, so the units are tapered and they take a little longer to obviously manufacture over in Ireland just because the moulds are a little more complex in terms of the dimensions and the, and the geometry of the unit. Right, okay. Um, so each of the recurves is roughly 14 um, tonnes in weight, 2 metres in width, 2 metres in height. Uh, unlike Marine Parade, these units don't have a lot of infill concrete on top of the heel of the unit. Yeah. Um, so basically, once we cast the structural slab between the recurve and the promenade unit, we only have roughly 150 mil of concrete placed on top of that to take us up to finished platform level. So when you go up there in a moment, you will actually be able to see rough, roughly what the finished level is going to be like there or thereabouts. Oh, amazing. Um, so we've carried on installing the drainage, uh, which yeah. you can see. Most of the drainage is now in, um, so that connects the track drainage into um, the promenade drainage, and then obviously all the outfalls which you can see here coming through the wall. Yeah, well now those curves on it's um, that's super high, isn't it? <laughs> it seems higher than the, um, the Marine Parade one. Uh, it is. The, the panels are slightly longer. Yeah. Um, it, the, the wall panels, that is. Um, on Marine Parade, they're around about five and a half meters. These ones are six and a half meters, so that probably adds to a bit of a height. Yeah. The recurve units as well, um, they've also got the holes uh, precast in them. Um, the idea of that is to allow any kind of spray which does go over the top. Obviously, when, when we do get strong winds, there is um, still potential for kind of the spray to wash over yeah. onto the wall. And that allows any, wa any water that does go over onto the promenade to come back through. So the promenade has kind of a, a, a fall that runs towards uh, the sea. And then the water comes back out the outlets, which you can see there. Yeah. Right, so this is uh, the last one of the day then, Jack? Yes, that's, that's unit eight for today, they're uh, going in. Um, the units are being delivered to Timmouth Road, uh, like right. the rest of the precast. Um, they're coming over from Ireland either two or three at a time on each wagon. Uh, so they get offloaded up there and then get loaded onto our specially modified trailer. Um, and then that, that fits underneath Colonnade Underpass. And then we offload them with the 70 ton excavator, which you can see over there. That then feeds them to the 70 ton crane, which is sat on the, the steel mats. A very similar kind of setup to the facing panel. Um, temporary works arrangements yeah, yeah. and then the, the, the crane um, installs them into its final position. We can't do that with the excavator because it doesn't have the reach. Um, so that's, okay, that's yeah, the idea yeah, of the yeah. crane lifting in the units. Uh, same, same with the facing panels. It, it struggles with the reach lifting them vertically um, that high. But we can have a little wonder through if you like. Yeah, great. Thank you. Sand might be a little bit soft here. That's all right, I need to embed these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so how long does it take roughly for each panel to, from when it, from when it's down at the viaduct to... Um... So the process is roughly about 20 to 25 minutes and that's taken it off the trailer and the viaduct to um, landing it into its, fixed, its final position. Um, what we do is we bring the units down on a shift by shift basis just so the refuges aren't congested. Yeah. Um, we are going to be taking apart Coast Guard's refuge shortly yeah. um, to allow us to build Coast Guards. 
So all of our plant is being stored over in Colonnade Refuge, so we don't have much space back in High Tired. So I'm with you. That's yep, the idea yep. of bringing the units down on the ship, really. Right, okay. And we, we can quite comfortably bring eight units down from Timberth Road. Um, we've yeah. got traffic marshals set up on the entrance who, who kind of manage the public and manage the, the interface with the vehicles coming in and out of the, the work site. Okay. Oh, that bit was sinky. <laughs> So you can see the guys at the top there, and they're harnessed onto a system on the opposite side of the wall. Um, what they're doing is coring in front of us, placing the recurve units. So each recurve unit has four uh, dowel bars, which are cored into the piles. So one facing panel shares two piles, yeah. and one recurve unit sits over two piles, and there's two cores in each pile. Right. But they're core down roughly about a metre and a half into the concrete, and then when they land the unit, they grout a bar, and that's what fixes it in its permanent position to the um, to the, the piles and the facing panels. What, all, what we also do as well, the recurve units have got what we call couplers on the back of them. So there's around about 50 couplers on each unit. Yeah. And the idea of that is we thread reinforcement or steel into the, the unit and then we cast the recurve unit to the promenade uh, wall unit on the rear. We cast them in groups of six. So six recurve units and six promenade units. And that creates a, a uniform kind of slab. Right, okay. And that, that that helps with um, kind of the resilience yeah. and the resistance of the waves. I see the pet pigeons are already trying to make uh, new homes yet again. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> they're they're yeah, very yeah. persistent. Indeed. Um, there is inline valves to go in there, so what that does is, uh, if there is any kind of wave action and there's, if there is potential for water to go back up the pipe, it prevents Stop any it. water to yeah. go, from going back up there. Um, very similar to what we've got on Marine Parade on, on the drainage over yeah. there. I, um, yeah, I remember seeing years ago when very rough seas of the the piping um, actually coming out from underneath a platform like in big, big squirts. So um, yeah, should make a good difference. I can't remember if last time you were here, oh, uh, no. whether the, whether the uh, artwork panels were no, here. No, no, wow, that looks amazing. So what, what those are is, is a kind of mirrored image of the footbridge which we're covering up behind it. So if you were to look at it from out at sea or from the beach when, when the tide does recede, you can kind of get the, the graphic um, impression. That's, oh, that's great. Yeah, I love that. So it's part of our planning conditions for yeah. the scheme this was to kind of keep keep some of the heritage. That's amazing. The uh, sun's slightly the wrong side, but yeah. Good work. So you've got the last um, 14 piles, which are obviously exposed now. They're ready to take the last seven facing panels. Um, and that'll take us up to 143 in total. And then Coast Guard's area, which we're just in the process of breaking down the piles. So the, all the board cast pile, board cast in situ piles have been installed since your last visit. Yeah. You can't really see much of them at the moment, um, but I'll try and show you over here. So in the ground here, there's concrete piles. Okay. Um, oh yeah. And what, what we do then is break the piles back down to the cutoff level and then we start building up from the ground then with the blocks. So all of this is a, a blocked modular system over here with stared access down to the beach. What we're gonna be doing in this scheme as well is removing the dip, which is here, currently here. Yeah, yeah. So you'll have a staircase which roughly runs up where the excava excavator is there. Yeah. And then the promenade will carry straight the way through onto um, the, the promenade on the opposite side of the fencing over there. Oh, okay, so stay pretty much the same level all the way. Yeah, so oh, that's good. there won't be a dip. There'll, there'll be a little bit of a ramp down from one side to the other. Um, top of the wall is due to be coming off in the next couple of weeks. Um, we're hoping to use that for some of the seating. That's right, yeah. Um, oh, great. Down on this phase. Um, just dependent on how the, the wall really comes off, really, and, and, and how intact it stays. Yeah. Uh, but we can take it apart piece by piece if needed. Okay. So there will be some seating made up of that material down here. And some of the boathouse material. Yes, yeah. Um, oh wow, boat else totally gone now, pretty much. Yeah. So this is really the last section of the job, which, you, which we're walking through here now, which really needs to be filled up to top of facing panels. Um, obviously, once we install the facing panels through that section, we can get the concrete up to the existing promenade level. Yeah. And then we can carry on building through. Um, I don't know if you want to have a little wonder up. Have a look, little look from down here. So what we're planning on doing over the next 
few weeks is partially dismantling the Coast Guard's refuge area. So we're going to be taking out the first two containers. So there's another one underneath there. Yeah. And another another two containers there. Yeah. And that'll allow us to install the last of the panels. Okay. And also um, to start the construction of the Coast Guard's um, kind of ramp system down yeah. to the, the beach and the stairs. Okay. By, by the end of next week, um, we're hoping to get this section concreted up to the, the height of the, the, the stairs over there. Okay. And then continue through where we've put the drainage uh, through, which you'll, you'll be able to see in a moment. Yeah. All right, so yeah, this is the um, Coast Guard's Cottages Bridge. Still still there at the minute, but just looks really bizarre with all these changes. Amazing. So like I say, on the front of the facing panels that side, you've got the kind of mirror yes. image of what yeah. we're covering up over here. Yeah. Oh, well, that'd be interesting to see from the sea once uh, it's complete. It will be, yeah. <clears throat> so we're about 95% complete with the drainage, the track drainage, um, and uh, the platform drainage, which will be eventually be extended up into the platforms yeah. uh, on the next phase of works. So you can see how we've picked up all the existing connections as we're installing the drainage system throughout. The, uh -huh. new, the new promenade unit will sit just on the left-hand side of that catch pit there, so there'll be a, a gap between the two. Um, and when we come back to do the platform works, the section gets filled, the, the timber fencing comes down, and there'll be a very similar sort of cladding yep. on the back side of these promenade units as to what's down on Marine Parade yeah, okay. as you walk along the road. Yeah. There's a catch pit roughly every 20 metres. That, that's this, this big black barrel thing in front of us, is it? It is, yeah. Um, so that just... Well. It picks up all the track drainage, uh, the platform drainage eventually, and then there's Sends an out, out outfall the into the sea Okay. There. Right, yeah. Wow, it's <laughs> there's so much concrete gone in since last time. It has, yeah. I mean, up the top, this is this is where it kind of drastically changes now. <laughs> um, don't, don't walk on that side for us if you don't mind at the moment, just because we're in the process of re-erecting the edge protection through there. Yeah. That, that was poured last night. Yeah, no um, so we'll, we'll keep off that side for the time yep. being. Um, this section's getting poured tonight through here. Um, so be the last time. Anybody who kind of really walks on here, really, as well. Um, and that'll go up to the top of the facing panel then, and that's yeah. ready for landing the recurve units on and landing the promenade units on, on the right-hand side here. So this is roughly a 70 to 80 metre cube pour. Yeah. Um, and that's what we're averaging roughly somewhere around about 50 to 70 metre cube of concrete, anywhere between that on each shift. So up to 100, 140 metre cube of concrete a day. Wow. At, at the... At the moment, um, we've installed 8,200 cube of concrete to date. That doesn't include any of the precast. So that, that includes the scour protection, the concrete in the piles, and all of the, the backfill, which you can see at the rear here. Yeah. So he's just fixing the, the stop end at the moment for us. And the guys are just finishing. Um, the, the, the drainage is a little bit more complex in this area just because of how many outlets there is. Um, and also how many um, stubs that are, that are coming from the, uh, from the existing track drainage that we've had to pick up. So they're, they're finishing this at the moment. Um, and then that section in there will also be concreted tonight up to the level that we're stood on at the moment. Okay, well. Let's have a look around. How you doing, your own? Yeah, hello. hello, mate. Hi. So this is when it changes again now. So wow. from panel 25, which is the first recurve unit that's gone in, um, we're concreted up to full height right the way down through here now. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the coring operatives, they're working in front of us, coring out the holes, ready to drop the dowel bars in that connect the recurve unit into the piles. Yeah. So each recurve the unit, like I mentioned, has four, and they, they call one of the four for each unit. So when we land the unit, we can lock it off into position. 
So in total, we've got roughly around about 2,000 metres of drilling to do. Yeah, uh, we've got eight metres each unit. We've got 155 recurve units and we've got 136 promenade units on the right hand side. Wow. Um, so there's still, <laughs> still a fair amount of free cast to go in <laughs> yeah. on the wall at the moment. It's, it's just like, you know, from knowing this area for so long and visiting, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just bizarre. You'd be under there normally. Yeah, walking. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I've, I've taken so many photos and videos underneath there and got caught by the wave so many times, yeah. Because you had the um, the mesh stuff on last time, just lining that. Yeah. And put, I mean, the... what what happens now is we we land the the promenade unit roughly somewhere around here, and then in the next phase of work, when we come to do the platform works, so the timber platform gets stripped out, the catch pits get extended up into the platforms and, and have a lid for accessing and right. obviously maintenance purposes, and then that will get infilled with concrete, um, and then there'll be the new surface and put on top of that then, and that'll run straight the way down into the L units. Right. Okay. The so they'll units. be accessible for maintenance, will they? Yeah. 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 Um, so each, like I say, each recurve unit has got around about 50 couplers sticking out the back of it. So the, the idea of those couplers is for us to thread reinforcement in and then we tie the recurve unit to the promenade unit on the back. The four holes which you can see in the top there, um, that's for us to... They're, they're, um, they have precast holes in them. Yeah. And what we do with those is drop the bar through them once the core is completed connecting down into the pile. I think there's a guy down there doing that so I can okay, do that now. So we leave the edge protection up until the gaps are filled really. Um, we don't allow access through there unless harnessed on, etc. Yeah, all right, so they're all harnessed to this fence, are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So th th this has all been designed so we can anchor two people off each post. Um, and we've also got the, the ratchet straps preventing anyone from falling through if, if you haven't got a harness on walking yeah. on this side. Okay. Um, so the bars which go into them, uh, those bars there, probably the, the biggest bar you'll ever see, 57 wow. and a half mil um, <laughs> steel bars. Just need some spanner. <laughs> uh, I can show you the spanner for it actually. Okay. You got the spanner off. I mean, Harvey's hands make it look big. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you're a big chap. I know, I think it looks small. I mean, if I have the spanner, yeah. like, <laughs> it makes me look 10 times smaller. <laughs> Wow. Close, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's, yeah. And, and these are the bars that we're installing. Wow. Amazing. There's a lot of steel work tying everything together. Yeah, yeah. Impressive. And then when we do cast the, the promenade unit and the recurve unit together, we cast, like, like I mentioned earlier, we cast them in bays of six. So there'll be six recurve units and six promenade units stitched together in one slab in this gap that we're studying at the moment. Yeah. And then the finished walkway level is roughly the same height as that black pipe there yeah, coming yeah. through the wall. Okay. Wow. So you can see really as you look across, it, it, it's roughly the same height as the top of the platform as well. Yeah. quite strange really walking this side of the wall and being able to see over yeah, the side of the platform yeah, in the car just, park. It's just bizarre. Well it's good now because as well with the camera and that you you know I've actually we can actually see the guys working so there's more people watching that camera now because oh, can you? yeah because yeah we can actually see that this curve unit so so it, this guy this gentleman's um, just coming behind and, and coring through the recurve unit we got one of the, the bars in each of the units there and then he comes behind and cores the other three after um, pretty much a, sh a, sh a shift or two after, really. Um, dependent on if there's waves or not, there's a, we have got our, uh, some temporary works constraints regarding um, how many bars have to be cored for, for the unit to be stable in a certain type of storm. Yeah. Um, so we, if needs we, we just focus on the, the drillers in one certain area. Wow. Yeah. Trees are on a sun at the top over there, um, preventing them from falling off the top of the unit, because they're, they're roughly, I think they're 700 or 750 mil in height. Obviously, there is potential that if you do fall off there, you could break something. So Absolutely, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. the idea of them being harnessed on at the top over there. Once he's finished drilling, then the, the other lads come um, quite closely behind and then drop the bars in and then grab them all into position. I used you, my dad. <laughs> So this is the section of concrete that we've just uh, poured today. Yeah. So that takes the top of the panel. Um, that's, that's the last pour um, of the mass infill concrete in this section. 
we'll strip these shutters tonight then, and then we'll pour the other half tomorrow. So it's a very quick process. So how, how long does that take to dry, for, to take the boards off? Uh, to, to take the shutters off, it normally takes anywhere between 12 and 16 okay. hours. Uh, so we strip it at the back end of the other shift. Yeah. Um, and then we erect the, the opposite side, and then we'll pour this section tomorrow up to um, the top of the yeah. uh, facing panel. Wow. Good work. So you can still walk all the way through then? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's one got... of the d challenges that we have to kind of look, look for when planning the job, yeah. access right the way through, because the other shift are working down at Coast Guards, and obviously if the tide's in, they we have to maintain to access over the yeah, water them, uh, so they can, they can carry on breaking down the piles. And then this shift are focusing with the re on the recurve units and the promenade units. Yeah. So we, I've, I've kind of split the shifts up to for one of them to work on coast guards and one of them to work on, right. on the recurves and promenade units. The, the promenade and recurve units, um, they're coming out in from uh, uh, they're coming in um, from over an island, um, and we get somewhere between six and nine units each day, dependent on how they're getting on with their precasting program over an island. Okay, and that's all going to schedule that end at the minute, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. So this section here, uh, we're leaving out. This section here, we're leaving out for the time being. Um, the reason why we're doing that is because the lift, um, the lift shaft and the bridge, which goes over the the platform, yeah. uh, which is part of the next package, is still being designed. What we don't want to do is fill this area or flood it with concrete, and then have to re-excavate it or re-cut it back out to to build the slab in or, yeah, or yeah. pile through it, etc. So. We're still working on the design uh, for the next phase, so okay. we don't really want to be putting anything in that we. The, need these to go out. right down to the bottom, don't they? These, these tubes, that right? They Tube do, yeah. Is probably yeah. the wrong word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, manholes or. Manholes, yeah. yeah Manhole okay. rings. And that's pretty much it, really. That back down to the end of the job. We're due to start filling the piles in um, and cutting down the tops of the piles in, the, in this section here in the, in the next couple of weeks. Um, but it, it was part of the next package, so we, we're just waiting on a few instructions really to get going with it. Brilliant. Well, again, Jack, thanks very much for the tour. Impressive work, and uh, thanks for allowing everyone to see the progress and behind the scenes. No, you're welcome. Uh...